¿Cómo están? Una nueva edición de Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Esta semana vamos a hablar del nuevo Mini 2014 que fuimos a probar a Puerto Rico. Vamos a analizar todos los anuncios de los fabricantes de autos en el Super Bowl, las preocupaciones de las personas acá en Estados Unidos sobre los autos que se conducen solo y vamos a revisar la lista de los autos más eficientes y los que gastan más gasolina. Así que vamos a empezar con la entrevista a David Duncan, el nuevo presidente de Mini en Estados Unidos. David Duncan, the new CEO de uh, Mini USA. We can still say, say new. Uh, you just took over uh, this month, right? Yeah, I took over uh, starting first of January. So, and uh, I understand this is your third time at Mini, and uh, you and I, you started doing other things. Uh, you started when, when Mini came back to the States? I did. I, I have been with the BMW Group for 16 years, but... I was with uh, Mini the first time in 2001, which was one year before the launch in the U.S., so I got to be part of the original launch team that brought the brand back to the country, and uh, then one other time came back and I did product strategy, and now I get to come back and uh, fulfill this role. For lead the whole team. Yeah, yeah, it's a great opportunity for me. I'm, and uh, lead I'm really the, the whole team with a brand new car, I mean, like the new original. So. Yeah, well, the timing couldn't be any more perfect. Yeah. You know, this is obviously the most important car to us for our brand, and uh, it's the iconic Mini. And now we're bringing back the, the third generation of it. And it's, uh, as you said, it's the new original. So the original car, and this is the newest version of it. So a lot has happened between uh, the, the time uh, when Mini came back to the States and now. Uh, you started with one car, and now I think you have like 11 or 12 uh, versions, more or less? Not quite. We have seven cars right okay. now, uh, feeling, filling in several different niches out there. And... Uh, You know, obviously, this is this is the most important car in the whole lineup because it's the, uh, as I said, the iconic car. Uh, but we try to fill in several different areas because people have different uh, lifestyles and they they're interested in different different kinds of cars. Yeah, they're always minis. I mean, that's the thing. Like, uh, and I guess that that was the challenge while redesigning this car because you can. I mean, you want to change something, but you don't want to change much because you want to to remain like like the original. Well, one of the things about it is you think about the, the segment that we compete in. When we came in in 2002, there were few, very few cars. We were really the only car that was competing in that small car segment. And now there's a lot of competition out there. But a lot of those other cars just kind of blend together. And the thing about the Mini is it definitely stands out. It's very yeah. unique. And that's why people want to buy it is because uh, it's a representation of who they are. It's a very unique car. They're able to customize it, do a lot of different things to it, and uh, really just kind of stands out out there. So with this new one, uh, there's something really, really that is outstanding, and this uh, the engine for the the base car, and it's three cylinders. And uh, when you st when you hear three cylinders first, you say like, uh, I'm not very sure. But we have driven it already this morning, and it is amazing. I mean, people who like have any doubts about like missing one cylinder in a car, I mean, there's nothing to doubt about. It it really performs really well. And that's a great thing. It's a great testament to the technology and how far technology has really come with engine design that you can produce that kind of horsepower and that kind of fuel economy uh, with, a, with an engine that's a three-cylinder engine. And the cool thing about it is I think it sounds great, too. So yeah. it's not like you're even losing uh, a feeling of performance. You, you've got everything, the full package with the sound and the performance out there. Do actually, I think... I, I you are gaining things because it's it's a lighter car obviously if you're missing one cylinder obviously you lose some weight there somewhere right yeah so it'd be turbo and then so tons of performance uh, 134 horsepower and uh and and really really moves i mean like we were just driving here around puerto rico very hilly up and down and like very small streets i mean and roads i mean this car was almost like meant to be here yeah you, you we have some great roads to drive on here so it's it's one of the fun things about it and they're narrow and and just really a, a great place to drive and like you said you got a car that's got some fantastic performance to it and that's what mini is about you know yeah. it's, it's really about that go-kart feeling and the ability to to drive and have fun and and you know just feel the the road underneath you yeah and then for people who want four cylinders you still have that Yeah, sure. You can upgrade to the uh, to the Cooper S model, and uh, that has a four-cylinder engine in it. So, you know, you, you have both options out there. Yeah, and that's 189, so like a huge, a huge improvement in horsepower. So you, you really, I mean, if you 
that wasn't enough. To me, it was enough. I mean, like, one, 134 horsepower in this kind of car, so light, so maneuverable, and, like, with the manual transmission, it was great to drive this morning. So I'm really forward uh, looking to drive the, the Cooper S. But, uh, I mean, I think this car is it's going to surprise a lot of people. I think it is, too. And, and the thing is, we want to be able to give you the performance in all the cars. So you don't have to uh, buy a Cooper S to get that go-kart feeling. You, you get... You get it with every car, and uh, you got to experience it this morning, so you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, and then here, uh, we are uh, by the sea here in Puerto Rico, and uh, we see another car, another Mini Cooper parked there, a, a Cooper D, and that's for diesel, I know, but I can, what can you tell us about that one? Well, that's obviously for the European market. That isn't something that we plan on bringing into the United States at this time. Uh, we're always looking at different places to go with our with our segmentation but uh that's not a car that we're we're looking at for uh, the immediate future even though the bmw group has really big and good technology with the diesel uh, powered trains right yeah we do but uh you know one of the things that we think is that you get such great performance with the lineup that we are bringing in that we don't necessarily have to bring that in right away it's something that we could keep as an option later but it isn't something that we're looking at in the short term and it's nice to to know that you have it back there like it's like a phone call away sort of <laughs> yeah I, i wish it was that easy but uh, <laughs> definitely it's there if we uh, if we wanted to look at it excellent yeah. any other things coming up for me what's in the future for me in the, in the next few years like uh, what's what's your plan Uh, well, you know, right now I, I've been in the job for less than 30 days. <laughs> my my focus is Settle on uh, launching a new car yeah. and uh, getting that out there in the market. That's obviously uh, the, the first thing. also want to make sure that we are engaging our owner group because we have such a great owner group out there. Very loyal. That uh, we want to make sure they get to see the new car and that they have an opportunity to participate in some of the events that we've got going on. Uh, 2014, we've got Mini Takes the States is going to be happening, so it's a cross-country drive that we do every two years, and uh, that'll be an opportunity for us to really share all of this with our very loyal owner base. So this new Mini, when is it already on sale, when it goes for sale, and... We're looking at a spring launch, so we're really not going to nail it down any more detail than that right now, but uh, definitely in the springtime. And this is uh, officially a 2015 car? No, it's actually going to be launched as a 2014 model okay. year car. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, David. For uh, Well, congratulations first for uh, your new post at uh, third post at Mini, so third is the charm, I guess. <laughs> exactly what I say. Third time's a charm. <laughs> exactly. So thank you very much again for having us here in Puerto Rico, and uh, we keep... Uh, We'll uh, look forward to seeing many new, new and great things for Mini in the future. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Seguimos en Puerto Rico con el Mini 2014 y ahora vamos a hablar con Manfred Poschen Rieder, que es el responsable del BMW Efficient Dynamics, toda la tecnología que se aplica en este nuevo modelo Mini 2014. So you have a very interesting title within the BMW Group. You're in charge of pretty much connecting everything that goes inside the car right of the of the communication of that yes uh, we, we are we are striving for in an ideal world for um, the most efficient body in total like lightweight design and uh, on top of the line aerodynamics second topic would be dynamic powertrains in general and at the end it comes down to an intelligent energy management like any kind of energy flow that you where you we want to reduce the use of energy as much as we can so in this particular car in the new model for the the mini uh it has a three cylinder engine well, that's a big improvement already uh but there's also amazing technology in this car right yeah the three cylinder engine is in fact um from a technical from a technology side um a cut in half six cylinder engine Uh, it comes in the same similar order, uh, firing order, just half of the firings, yeah. and uh, we are very happy to introduce this three-cylinder now for the first time with the new Mini. Um, well, you can experience, tell me more about the experience. Well, we already that. drove it that this morning, and it's amazing. I mean, for some people, maybe the idea of having just three cylinders in a regular car in the U.S. at least, will be like kind of shocking, but once I think people drive it, they're going to be like no doubts about that. It's a great car. We are able, on a general basis, uh, as we are talking about a new modular Efficient Dynamics engine family of three, four, and six cylinders, um, all of them with twin power turbo technology, means variability, direct injection, and turbocharging. Um, we can focus on developing 
this twin power turbo technology for all the straight inline engines in the future out of one family. And this gives us the opportunity to put the high-end technology also into the smaller engine types like the three-cylinder. We will be able, if we want to, not necessarily that we do in every car, but we can create uh, around about 50 kilowatts, like 80 horsepower out of, um, almost 80 horsepower out of one cylinder if you want to. Wow, that's amazing. So a lot of uh, technology, I'm sure it's even in the works, but for now, I mean, the real car here, uh, you were saying you, you uh, come, I mean, the group that you represent uh, work on aerodynamics, powertrains, and all that technology. Also, uh, within the BMW group, I understand there's some technology also that connects like the GPS to the engine and the suspension. I mean, that's pretty, pretty advanced. Exactly. What we are trying to do is um, we are trying to give the, the, the drivetrain of the car um, as we say, eyes. We want them to see the road. And brains, more than <laughs> brains and, and eyes. So we want the GPS. Uh, we want to use the GPS to give information to the powertrain about the road condition. For example, if you're um, going towards a roundabout, you as an experienced driver would downshift before you go into the yeah. roundabout. And that's the pretty much new technology that we have in here now in the new Mini. Um, the automatic drivetrain of the Mini would shift down just as you would do it as an experienced driver before the roundabout, not shift up high into mm. the next gear during the roundabout, but only when you exit the roundabout, just like you would do it. So it's an improvement of, first of all, of course, efficiency, and secondly, of comfort, because it gives you the feeling that you would shift yourself. Incredible. Uh, and um, also, I mean, in terms of the, the integration of all the systems like GPS, uh, radio communication with the phone and all that pretty advanced and in a very small package I think that I think that's a challenge too but you guys are doing it really great yeah it's um, the, the mini connected um, technology has of course been there before but it's improved uh, with new technology now in in the new mini new head-up display that you can use for the first time in this segment of vehicles which has not been there before um, so the Mini is supposed to be a premium car in the small compact vehicle segment and we try to do our best to... Uh, I, th I think you did it with this one. So thank you very much for your time, Manfred. And uh, We drove the regular, uh, the three-cylinder engine in the morning and we're going to drive the S now, so we're going to enjoy it even more, I think. Oh, I wish you a lot of fun with the new four-cylinder engine. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs>